What is going on guys and in this video we will be taking a look at the level 33 car in the motor pass for this season and that is a Chevrolet Corvette C3 Fire ED. A lot of these cars seem to have very very long names. Obviously this car is very similar into the other C3 that everybody can purchase in the HQ but this car will require the motor pass of hit level 33 and be able to use this thing. Let's go see if we can customize it. When it comes to the customization of these cars I have noticed that many of them you pretty much can't do too much of them mainly because they are already heavily customized so for color wise Kind of like the Ubisoft colors, you can remove the livery if you would like, if you're not digging the one that's on there. But visually, if I'm being honest, what else could you possibly do to this? I mean, look at all the detail on this thing. I mean, there's really nothing else that could be done to it. Like, what are you going to do, make the bumper longer or make the exhaust different? I mean, honestly, the car's already pretty customized and honestly looks pretty awesome. As is, like, the cap there for the fuel looks like. It look Honestly, the car looks pretty awesome. I said there's nothing else I would change on this thing, especially compared to the other C3. Overall, let's go do a race with it and see how it does, and let's do a top speed run as well to see what this car can do. So this is my first actual look at the Fire C3 here outside in the game here. I actually have not really seen this car besides looking at it in the menu or seeing it in the, like, the motor pass. Pretty cool looking car overall. I was kind of mixed on it, honestly. When I saw it in the motor pass, I wasn't really too sure how I was going to like it, if it was going to look okay, or like if it had too much done to it. But honestly, looking at it outside right now, I must say this car is actually pretty awesome looking. Uh, let's listen to it. So the thing sounds pretty awesome as well, doing a nice little uh, look around there. Let's take a look at the interior as well. So this is basically an upgraded version of the other Corvette as well, if you guys are wondering. Um, it's pretty much just a bunch of like body kits, uh, obviously upgrades and all that on it. The real question is, is it going to be faster? Um, how's it handled differently compared to that one? It's most likely going to be a little different, um, unless it's like the exact same car platform there. Before we do that, let's take a look at the sound of the regular C3 and then let's drive this thing. So here's the regular C3 here. You could definitely see a big difference in the cars there. Anyway, let's listen to this one now as well to compare it. So they seem very, very similar in sound there. Now let's go drive the fire. Now let's go drive this thing a little bit and see how it actually does there. So the acceleration will be a little different compared to some of the other touring cars, mainly because it is the four-speed manual gearbox there, which is fine in ways, but to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of them in racing. Um, they're kind of wonky sometimes in the summer races. Let's go drive this thing right now and see how it does. So acceleration seems pretty nice on it. Hitting it with Chemist gets it right up to speed very, very quickly. 250 there. Looks pretty similar to the other, and I don't know what I just did there. Handling is actually very, very good on this car. I just made that turn look really, really bad. So acceleration is, does seem pretty good on it so far. I have been noticing a big difference in the four-speed manuals compared to the other vehicles, though. Let's do a nice speed run here. So 253-ish. It's pretty similar. The other C3 is doing around the same as well. Probably depends on the road, but it was maxing out at 255 there. Probably can't go much faster. That's pretty dang impressive though, and a lot of the touring cars do do that, but some of them do only do like 240-ish. Some of them struggle getting past that. This thing does have a very good top speed and could probably be used in a lot of Summit races or US Speed Tour races. I am pretty impressed with the top speed on it overall. Definitely looking like a Hot Wheels car. I can see where that person came from with that. Why don't we go take it into a touring car race and see how it actually performs with turns. So if I'm driving the car on the highway there a little bit, I could definitely tell it's very similar to the regular C3, probably considering it is the exact same car with a little difference of the body kit there. Um, overall, it does seem like a pretty cool car overall. It's handling pretty well as well, so let's go try this out here. I'm running the exact same build on this car that I was running on my regular C3 as well, just to see how it will do. Like I said, the issue with some of these four-speed transmissions is actually trying to be in the right gear on some of these turns. I noticed can be kind of a challenge for some weird reason. But overall, the car seems to be doing pretty well. Normally, if I'm spinning out on turns because I'm going a little too fast or I'm not going into the turns correctly there. Let's do a nice little speed run here. So, Nitro Cam seems to affect this car very, very nicely like it did with the other one. I was very impressed with the regular C3 as well because of that. And the Fire Edition seems like no exception there. So, overall, the handling on the car seems pretty nice. Uh, the build I have on it seems to be doing just good on it. I would say, it, I don't think it needs any really tuning done to it. It's more the fact of trying to get used to it. Um, a lot of people are probably running the Renault or the Superleggera in the touring car class. And I don't know if this car is actually going to be used over that, but it may be possible. Um, I was testing the C3 a little bit, like I said, with the Renault, and I was still using the Renault over it in a lot of races just because the C3 was struggling a little bit in some areas. And I think that's where some other touring cars just really, really shine. Acceleration can sometimes be a little bit slower with the delay in shifts and the force-free transmission I notice as well on these cars. So if you're trying to test these out 
trying to get good times. These cars might not be the greatest option there. At least what I've been noticing anyway from driving these a good amount recently. Let's try to accelerate a little bit more in the fourth here. It does get up to speed pretty fast though when you hit chemist. I mean, it, go it goes. Should put it in first person view for a minute and drive it in that. I like to know what everybody thinks about the cars in this motor pass so far. Um, I'm almost level 49, so I could test out the F1 car, so stay tuned for that. Looking forward to driving that thing a little bit as well. Honestly, this car's actually pretty cool. I'm glad to see more touring vehicles. Um, I'm glad that Ubisoft's actually giving love to some of the other classes, like having a new boat and a plane is pretty awesome as well. Wondering what they will add in the future. Pretty cool to have a Corvette C3. Like I said, before I was kind of mixed on the body kit on this car, wondering how this thing was going to look. But looking at it right now, you could definitely see how the guy that made the Hot Wheels uh, livery on it. I could definitely see where he came from with that. I might have had a car like this when I was younger. Pretty, pretty cool car, though. I must like it. I must say, uh, if you're wondering why I'm spinning out on turns as well, it's mainly because I am in the second to third gear thing there, trying to figure out what gear I should be in around some of the turns. It's a little easier to do with the six-speed transmission because you won't, like, lose yourself, and I normally do play in manual. So when I'm normally driving these cars, let's say, in a Summit, I will most likely be using it in automatic, uh, just so I don't have to mess with the shifting there, so I don't mess myself up on turns and lose tons and tons of time and all that, because that's definitely something I notice that happens with these cars, which is kind of unfortunate. But overall, guys, I must say the Fire car C3 is pretty awesome overall. I might as well call it the Fire car, honestly, because uh, it looks like that. But overall, this car is pretty cool, and I'll show you my settings right now. And here are the settings I'm running on my Chevrolet Corvette C3 Fire ED.